30, 30, 30 days, days, days. So I've been sculpting every day for the last 30 days in Blender. And these are all the heads that I've sculpted so far. I made a head every single day. And for the last 3-4 days, I've been studying anatomy and have finally moved on to learning how to make a body and studying the anatomy. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ishaq and I've been a 3D artist for the last 4 years. I've been working in the mobile game industry and I make assets for hyper casual mobile games. But sculpting is something I've been really passionate about. I've practiced on and off, I bought the CG Cookie Human course, I watched random tutorials. But the issue was I was never consistent with my practice and everything that I learned I always seemed to forget and it's because I got busy with work, I got busy with freelance and never had the time to consistently practice sculpting. But then I just decided that I want to learn this, I want to do this and for the last 30 days I've been practicing consistently every day even if it's for an hour or 20 minutes but I do practice sculpting every day. For context this is what I used to think a head looks like. This is the first head that I sculpted from imagination. I wish I had kept the file so I could compare and show you all the terrible angles that this head has. And for context, this is after I practiced the CG cookie course. I wasn't really a fan of the step-by-step -step method, the Loomis head method of CG cookie. And so what I did, I bought two course from Speechar, also Nico. And I've been watching his course and I've been practicing and I really see the results. So I followed his course step-by-step -step and I just try to match as close as I can. These are the heads that I could then sculpt from imagination without using any references. And using a reference is super important. I do not encourage not using a reference. I only do that just to test my memory and to compare the result later on and see how much I've improved. So after this head, I've been using references heavily. This is the first 20 minute sculpt that I did. Speed sculpts are a really good way of making quick decisions and really doing the things that, that really matter. You don't waste time and you don't get into detail. And as you can see in this head, I didn't have enough time to make the nose and the ears. And just after one, two, three, four days, I did a 20 minute challenge again. And this time I was able to get the ear and the nose. The nose could use a bit refinement, but I, I ran out of time. <laughs> I have the video and time lapses of each of this head on the channel. This is when I tried to sculpt a female for the first time. And just to make it look cool, I made these cyberpunkish marks on her face. It was actually to hide the bad features. You guys only focus on the cool stuff. So just by following a course, just by practicing every day, I see the benefits. This is the first time I tried to make an anime character. This is Sukuna from Jujutsu Kaisen. And this is the second attempt. I tried to make Pain from Naruto and this is really bad. I did sculpt him again. I seem to misplace the file somewhere. And this is the second attempt that I did on pain. It was a bit better, but this is when I understood that sculpting something realistic and sculpting something from anime is a total different ball game. And I started to sculpt realistic characters again. My current focus is to just get, get better in sculpting and to get consistent results. I was I didn't care about the skin pores and I didn't went in, into the super fine detail. But what my main aim was. It was to get the basic forms right, to get the shape of the head right, to get a good result. I had good days and I had bad days in between. This is another 20 minute challenge that I did. And this time I got the nose right, I got the ear right. And when I compare these two heads, I can really see how far I've come within just weeks of practicing daily. After that, I got into sculpting females. This I sculpted this female using a reference. And just to test my memory, I sculpted this without any reference. And to be honest, I didn't like this result. So the next day I watched another video by Nico where he fixed female head mistakes and I tried to correct all of those mistakes. And the next day I tried to implement them. And the difference between these two is day and night. I also upload self-improvement videos for artists. And I really emphasize on why self-improvement is important. If you're trying to learn a skill, if you're trying to learn any form of art, any form of art, the approach, the mindset, and the method that you use, they make a lot of impact in your learning. Previously, I used to feel stuck all the time. But now after working on myself and implementing intentional practice, I feel like this skill is coming to me much easier. So I've moved on from busts and now I'm heading into learning anatomy and the rest of the body. I'm also making a daily vlog on my progress and sharing the tips and the things that I learn along the way. So subscribe if there is something you'd be interested in as well. 
another really cool thing is that i painted some of these so let's turn on the attribute and now you can really see the art that i made and the progress that i made over time let me know in the comments which one of these heads is your favorite my favorite is either voldemort or morpheus i can't really decide which one i like more i really liked sculpting hellboy as well so let me know in the comments which one of these heads is your favorite so if you feel like you're stuck in art and you want to learn a new skill just don't give up and try practicing every day even if it's for as little as 20 minutes the effects of practicing every day will compound over time and you will see huge progress in your work i promise so that's all for today i'm really excited to share this with you subscribe if you'd like to stick around i'll be posting a lot more of sculpting content and self improvement videos that you can really benefit from take care and happy practicing